Immune Deficiency Foundation's 2017 National Conference in Anaheim. And we finally made it to the West Coast. And so uh, right now it's my pleasure to introduce Paul Blanchfield, who is the head of the U.S. Immunology Franchise at Shire. Thank you, Marcia, for that warm reception, and thank all of you. Mark Twain said a lot of things over the course of his life, but one of the things that I always remember and speaks to me is he said once that the two most important days in your life, one is the day you're born, and two is the day you find out why. On behalf of the 23,000 people that work at Shire, and serve the rare disease community, including those with immunodeficiencies. You are the why in this room right here. This is why we do what we do. This is why we work tirelessly with physicians to raise awareness, to get diagnosis for the 300,000 folks that are not in this room, that are still looking for a treatment in the US, to help the 100,000 that are diagnosed with support, with care, with connectivity, and possibly with treatments. This is why we do what we do. As Marcia said, you may know us as Shire, you may have known us as Baxalta, you have, may have known us as Baxter. We've been in this for a long time, we've been part of this community a long time, and we're thrilled to continue to be here. While the faces may change, and the name has certainly changed, our passion and commitment to this community has not. You'll recognize some staples like Iggy, like my IG source, and a terrific Shire team in the back, including our patient engagement team, which many of you know. It has been a remarkable privilege to have worked with this community since the 1980s, and with Marsha and indeed the entire IDF staff for putting on an incredible event every two years. But this isn't about us. This is about you in this room, whether it is your ninth conference, whether it is your first conference. It is about you making new friends, renewing old friendships. It's about you sharing your stories, learning more about each other, learning more how to be advocates for yourself, learning how to help the 300,000 other people that are not in this room that were where you were years ago to help those diagnosed. And so we're thrilled to be a sponsor we're excited to be here. We look forward to reconnecting with many of you and getting to know many of you for those that's your first conference. Thank you so much for allowing us to understand why we do what we do and the second part of Twain's quote, why we're here. Thank you and I wish you a tremendous conference and week. Well, thank you, Paul, for your wonderful remarks. Uh, we're so excited about our fantastic walk for primary immunodeficiency and Shire's generous role as the national presenting sponsor. And now I'd like to invite John Boyle, IDF Vice President of External Relations, who will say a few remarks about our walks. Hello, hello. Welcome, Zebras, and thank you, Marsha. Now that Marcia is retiring, I can actually go back to calling her mom, which is just verboten in the office. It's, it's craziness. And thank you all for being here. Some of you are jet lagged. There's another John Boyle right down there who's feeling it right now, looking forward to Pizza Hut. Um, thank you all for being with us here tonight. Uh, and it is absolutely great to see all of you here as we kick off the largest gathering of people with PI that you are ever going to see. Now, come on. There we go. Now, if you like the feeling of getting together with fellow zebras, then you are definitely going to want to sign up for the IDF Walk for Primary Immunodeficiency. This fall, IDF has organized walks in 12 cities, and some go-getters here have added a few community-organized walks as well. And then, of course, we have the nationwide virtual walk. No matter how you participate, we just want you to join us and to take part. Now, for those of you who live nearby, uh, many of you know that we have a walk planned in Santa Monica, uh, sunny, sunny, sunny Santa Monica in November, and we really hope to see you there. It's so close. The traffic is not going to be bad on the weekend. It'll, you, you can make it there. Oh, 
Sorry, I'm in the East Coast, right? I don't, I don't uh, uh, understand these things. Uh, the walks are the events for individuals and families living with PI. You come together, you connect with others, and you raise funds that will help us to create a better future for our community. There we go. What could be better? We are so very, very excited about this year's walks. Now, who here has been to a walk? Uh, our walks are so amazing, and they create such an impact, and that's all because you make them that way. Now, our hope is to have every family affected PI by PI who lives near a walk to have a presence there. If you're concerned about being out of town or being well enough to attend, don't worry about that. You deputize a friend or a family member to walk in your place and represent you. The trick here is the more of us who participate, the more successful we are. Now, I want to end, uh, because this is going to be a, a weekend of information uh, shot at you, uh, with a real quick three-part quiz. Now, because I've already forgotten, it's, it's late, I'm jet-lagged, all that, who here again was part of a walk team in the past? All right, keep them raised, keep them raised, do not let them go down. Now, who has created or is part of a new walk team this year? Get your hands up too. No, keep the hands raised. Okay, we added some more. Okay, we got a lot of hands up. Now, finally, who is going to create or join a team this year? And or who likes chocolate? <laughs> Every hand should be up. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, okay, we've got, some, we've got some chocolate lovers there and some walk participants. Thank you all. With that, I think that this is going to be a fantastic year. And for those of you who are in that last group, more of the, those who are going to create the team rather than the Chocoholics, uh, please stop by the IDF booth in the exhibit hall to learn more about creating your team.